Wednesday's emergency warning for the missing Sparwood boy marked BC's 11th Amber Alert. All previous Amber Alerts, including three on Vancouver Island, resulted in children being located safe. And that's an important fact for one Victoria mother whose own son is still missing after more than 20 years. Kristen Robinson reports. Keenan! Mommy wants you! Three-year-old Keenan Hebert's disappearance triggered BC's 11th Amber Alert since 2004. Ten previous Amber Alerts involving 13 missing kids all resulted in the children being found safe and sound. Ten were located in BC, while three were found outside the province. Keenan's a great kid. We have eight kids. Um, Caleb, our six-year-old, has had three heart surgeries. And now we, uh, we deal with a kidnapped child. Uh, to be kidnapped, he also could be lost. Eight previous Amber Alerts involved parental situations, one involved a violent relationship, and one was a stranger abduction. In Keenan's case, the suspect, 46-year-old Randall Peter Hopley, is also a stranger. I heard about him being missing, and my heart just goes out to the family, and we just do whatever we can to help to bring, hopefully bring the boy, bring him home safely. Get off the bed. I saw you boogie, Mom. We don't boogie on the bed. When Crystal Dunahy's four-year-old son Michael vanished from an elementary school playground more than 20 years ago, our province's Amber Alert system was not in place. Dunahy worked hard to bring it to BC, even though she knows her son's disappearance would not have met the Amber Alert criteria, since there was no suspect identified and no definitive vehicle description. She now educates other parents through Child Find BC, urging them to talk to their children daily about safety and the people in their lives. I know having to go back and retrace what led up, what happened in our lives before Michael disappeared, it's very difficult to do uh, years after, even days after. Just over 10,000 cases of missing children were reported to police authorities in 2009. Over 50,000 in Canada in 2009. 16 abductions in 2009 in British Columbia. Those are staggering statistics. Um, I don't think the public is fully aware of what's going on and how many people find themselves in circumstances in our communities where their children go missing. Good picture. Child Find has fingerprinting and camera setups in almost every BC community. Last year, volunteers fingerprinted more than 12,000 children. In the event they go missing, their photos and ID are already recorded in these All About Me booklets, allowing parents to focus on the search. You may never have to use it, and it's a permanent grow chart, if anything else. But it's better to be safe than sorry.